So the 2021 Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards are back in action. And of course, I'm going to be doing my 2021 KCA predictions as usual. Uh, Kenan Thompson this year will be the host of uh, the KCAs. And uh, it will be held on March 13th. Um, usually the KCAs have been airing since later in the month of March since pretty much like 2012 basically because the last time the KCAs was held in April was April 2nd of 2011 and the KCAs usually was held in April in the 2000s pretty much and then there were times when the KCAs were pretty much aired around in May in the 90s in fact I did not know this until I looked it up but apparently, um, when it came to the 1992 Nickelodeon KCAs, it aired on my birthday when I was two years old. I was two years old when the 1992 Nickelodeon KCAs aired in the fall time on November 14th. I did not know that KCAs aired in the fall time. And that's the only time that the KCAs aired in the fall. In fact, there wasn't even a, a Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards in 1993. Wouldn't that be something for the KCAs to air in the fall time? I guess since then they were like, you know what, maybe it's best to air the KCAs, you know, around the springtime. The weather is nicer and whatnot. So, yeah, so ever since then they've been airing in springtime. So, I mean, the nominees are pretty much the same. The nominees were announced and uh, voting opened on February 2nd. So I'm sure you guys have already voted and are still voting as much as possible. And get this, Justin Bieber has been nominated for the most nominations. He has the most nominations out of anybody. He has a total of five nominations. I'm like, really? Why? People still got the hype for Justin Bieber? I thought that was so 2009. I mean, I, I mean he's still popular and he, I guess he, yeah, he's still out there like that, but I can't say it's the same as 2009, but whatever. Uh, yeah, let's check out these nominees. So. We got Favorite Movie, Doolittle, Hamilton, Hubie Halloween, Mulan, Signed the Hedgehog, Wonder Woman 1984. I have not seen any of these movies, but I'm going to go with that live action Mulan movie. Favorite movie actor, Jim Carrey for his role as uh, Dr. Robotnik in the Signed the Hedgehog movie. By the way, if anybody's seen that Signed the Hedgehog movie, what you think? Was it good? Robert Downey Jr. for Doolittle. Will Ferrell for the story of Fire Saga, uh, Lynn Manuel Miranda, Hamilton as Alexander Hamilton, Chris Pine, Wonder Woman 1984, and Adam Sandler, uh, Hubie Halloween. I'm gonna go with Jim Carrey, favorite movie actress. We have Millie Bobby Brown, uh, Enola Holmes, Gal Gadot, Anne Hathaway, The Witches, Vanessa Hutchins, The Princess, Switch, Switch again. Lou Ife. Mm, Lou Ife is pretty cute. That's a cute Asian woman right there. As Mulan and Melissa McCarthy, Super Intelligence. I'm going to go with uh, the woman that portrayed as Mulan. Favorite animated movie, Onward, Phineas and Ferb, Candace Against the Universe, The Cruise, The New Age, Trolls, World Tour, Scoob, and Soul. I haven't seen any of these movies, but I think I'm going to go with The Cruise, A New Age. That looked like a funny movie based on what I saw from the trailers. Uh, favorite voice from an animated movie, Tina Fey, Soul, uh, Jamie Foxx, Soul, Anna Kendrick, Trolls, World Tour, Chris Pratt, Onward, Ryan Reynolds, The Cruise, A New Age, Emma Stone for the same movie that Ryan Reynolds is in. And Justin Timberlake from uh, Trolls World Tour. Uh, if I had to choose, I'd go with Tina Fey as Soul. Uh, moving on to television. Favorite kids TV show. We got Alexa and Katie. Alexa and Katie? That seems like it's a Disney Channel show. Oh, it's not. It's some sitcom that's on Netflix, so that's why I never heard of it. Uh, anyways, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Danger Force? Henry Danger? High School Musical, The Musical, The Series, and Raven's Home. I'm going to go with Raven's Home, obviously. Um, although you can't go wrong with, you know, Are You Afraid of Dark? 
Uh, favorite family TV show? We have Blackish, Cobra Kai, Fuller House, Stranger Things, The Mandalorian, and Young Sheldon. I've gone with Fuller House, but I'm going to go with Blackish this time just to switch it up. Favorite female TV star? We have Ella Anderson, who was Piper on Henry Danger, Millie Bobby Brown, Stranger Things, Candace Cameron Bure as DJ from Fuller House. Camila Mendez as Veronica from Riverdale, Raven, you know, as you know, from Raven's Home, and um, Sophia Wiley from the High School Musical, the musical, the series. I'm gonna go Raven, uh, favorite male TV star. Isn't this pretty much the same nominee we seen like last year, or even before that? I mean, either way, I'm going with Jace Norman. So, okay, favorite reality show. This is pretty much the same nominee, pretty much. I mean, America's Got Talent, American Idol, American Ninja Warrior Jr., Lego Masters, The Masked Singer, and The Voice. Uh, I'm going to go with Lego Masters. Favorite animated series, I mean, that's pretty much the same except for The Boss Baby back in business. I'm obviously going to go with The Loud House. I'm not going with SpongeBob. Oh, well, well, actually, the Lego Jurassic World is new. Legend of Isla Nubler. I, uh, that's new. But, I mean, either way, I'm going with the Loud House. I mean, I'm not going... Look, we all know that SpongeBob is going to win, guys, okay? You can vote the Loud House all you want. SpongeBob is going to win. Favorite music group? Uh, Black Eyed Peas, Blackpink, BTS, Jonas Brothers, Maroon 5, One Republic. I usually vote for Maroon 5, but I'm going to switch it up and vote for One Republic. Favorite male artists, Justin Bieber, Drake, uh, Post Malone, Shawn Mendes, Harry Styles, The Weeknd. Mm, I'm going to go for The Weeknd. Favorite female artists, Beyonce. I mean, this is pretty much the same. Beyonce is pretty much always on here. Uh, Billie Eilish. Selena, Ariana, Katie, Taylor. I'm going with Selena, obviously, so, yeah. Favorite song, we got Yummy by Justin Bieber, Dynamite by BTS, Tussie Slide, Drake, uh, Wonder by Shawn Mendes, Car Cardigan by Taylor Swift, and Blinding Lights, The Weeknd. Uh, I'm going to go with The Weeknd. The song, it, it's, it's okay, it's, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's one of his best hits. And this is the same song that he performed at the Super Bowl. His Super Bowl halftime show for his song, Blinding Lights. I mean, the, the Super Bowl halftime show in general was just, huh? Okay. Plus, this is the same song that Nickelodeon did a parody of for Halloween. That was pretty creative and catchy of Nickelodeon to do. You guys remember last Halloween when they had that Nickelodeon Halloween bumper? They called it, I'm Blinded by the Frights. I thought that was very creative. His song is like perfect to listen to for Halloween. It can definitely surpass as a Halloween theme. Weekend um, singing, I'm blinded by the frights. And boy, I was rolling. It was funny when he says that you, you can't sleep with SpongeBob haunting your dreams. <laughs> I'm like, man, Nickelodeon and the weekend, they got too much time on their hands. <laughs> Uh, I said, ooh, I'm blinded by the frights. <laughs> uh, favorite music collaboration? I'm not going to vote for any music collaboration that features J Justin Bieber. Forget it. I guess I'll go with this Ice Cream by Blackpink and Selena Gomez. Uh, favorite global music star? I mean, this is the one that that always has Taylor Swift and, you know, David Guetta and all of them. I'm going to go with Taylor, so whatever. Favorite female sports star? We got Simone Biles, Alex Morgan, Naomi uh, Osaka, Candace Parker, Megan, and Serena Williams. Usually I'll vote for Serena, but I'm going to vote for Candace Parker this time. Yes, Candace Parker, the new Chicago Sky, no longer a member of the Los Angeles Sparks. It's going to be weird seeing Candace Parker in a Chicago Sky uniform. I'm so used to her wearing purple and gold for the Sparks. But yeah, I got to go with Candace. I like Candace. She seems down to earth and nice. Of course, she's hot. She's one of the hottest WNBA players of all time. 
But um, yeah, she's going back home to go play for hometown team, the Chicago Sky. Hopefully she brings a championship to the city of Chicago like she did the city of um, LA when she was with the Sparks. Um, I wish Candace good luck in Chicago. Good luck, Candace. Favorite male sports star, we got Tom Brady, Stephen Curry, LeBron James, Patrick Mahomes, Lionel Messi, and Russell Wilson. Um, last time I went for LeBron. This time I'm going to vote for Tom Brady, you know, especially since he just won the Super Bowl. So I'm going to go with Tom Brady this time. Although I wouldn't be surprised if, they, if LeBron James wins it instead. But I'm going with Tom Brady. Uh, favorite female social star. Man, this is the same one. I always vote for JoJo. I'm going to vote for JoJo, obviously. Um, favorite male social star. This one, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with David DeBrick. David DeBrick. So that's what I'm going for. And then we got favorite video game. I'm going to go with Minecraft. So there you go. Okay, so these have been my uh, Nickelodeon... 2021 Kids Choice Awards predictions. Uh, tell me your predictions, who you want and hope wins and blah, blah, blah. All right, so tune in March 13th.